anti-seducer. Seducers provide focused, individualized attention. They never persuade directly, never parades his or her morality, never lectures or imposes. Anti-seducers are the opposite, insecure and self-absorbed. They don't create the promise of pleasure. It is best to disengage from anti-seducers early on, and it is critical to recognize anti-seductive qualities in others and in ourselves. The most effective seductions are driven by looks and indirection. People who talk a lot most often talk about themselves. Such a deep-rooted selfishness. Never inwardly wondering, am I boring you? Early on, nod, seem to agree, then find an excuse to cut the conversation short. The suffocator falls in love with you before you realize they exist. You might think they have found you overwhelming. But they suffer from an inner void, a deep well of need that cannot be filled. A subvariant is the doormat, a person who slavishly imitates you. Early on, see whether they are capable of having an idea of their own. Seduction is a game of lightheartedness. Morality never enters the picture. Moralizers endlessly criticize and judge you. Their inability to adapt and to enjoy may also be accompanied by a physical stiffness. Patience. With seduction, part of the pleasure is its duration, the waiting that increases, anticipation. Brutes are concerned only with their own pleasure, revealing self-absorption. Seduction implies opening yourself up, being unable to give by spending money usually means being unable to give in general. Using selective generosity, try giving more freely of both your money and yourself. Also, giving too much can be a sign of desperation, as if you were trying to buy someone. Incapable of getting outside themselves, their self-consciousness heightens your own. You may think they're thinking about you, but in fact, they're only thinking of themselves. In seduction, the key weapon is boldness, refusing your target the time to stop and think. The reactor is far too sensitive to their own ego and vanity. They're prone to whining and complaining to very anti-seductive traits. We should all be able to laugh at ourselves a little. Indiscretion is a sure sign of the vulgarian talking to others of your affair, for example. Their clothes are tasteless by any standard, and in their actions, lacks self-control. Tact, 
style, and attention to detail are all basic requirements of a seducer. Most people neglect attention to the details. Their senses are dulled by work, by hardship, by self-absorption. Prologue and attention can create hatred. Her words said one thing, her eyes another. Seduction is all about signs. Wordless communication through clothes, gestures, actions is the most pleasurable, exciting, and seductive form of language. Hopelessly anti-seductive. If you cannot see their individual qualities, excessive self-pride can signal that you will not abase yourself before others. But seduction requires an openness to the other person, a willingness to bend and adapt. And greed for the famous seducer, Casanova, Seduction was a lighthearted game that people played for their mutual amusement. And if you are looking for something other than pleasure, never let anything break the illusion. Uses of anti-seduction. Do not get angry. Instead, Act distant and indifferent. Pay no attention to them. Always extremely amiable, courteous to the extreme, but never showing the slightest emotion, whether of interest or dislike. Remember, seduction is a game of attention, of slowly filling the other person's mind with your presence. Distance and inattention will create the opposite effect. Also, you can simply feign the qualities listed throughout this video. The best antidote to an anti-seducer is often to become anti-seductive yourself.